everybody loves Rihanna. Her hate group is probably much smaller. Like, there's a group of people that hate Beyonce. I know that for a fact. Yep. Whitney Houston is people that hated Whitney Houston, right? It is what it is. But yeah, that's true. Like the public hate for Rihanna is minimal. The Max Allotment Podcast. And it starts. <laughs> Episode 84 of the Max Allotment Podcast. With me is my guy. Salute to Bruce. Shout out to our other guys. I go by the name of Joe Wonder. This is Hector. They can't be here tonight, but. Joe on the Max Allotment Podcast. We are here. Good evening. How you doing, man? And I'm yeah. blessed. And I'm yeah, busy. De nuevo. Estoy cansado, mano. Work is <laughs> work is, is man, work is crazy. But work is good, man. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed and busy, man. How about you? What's going on with you? I'm good, man. Just staying active in general, one way or the other. Uh staying busy, planning uh for beer week, and then just going from there, man. Just fucking hanging out. Beer week kicks off tomorrow, so when this episode drops, Arizona Beer Week will then start. Um so it goes yeah, I don't on. know if we, yeah, I don't know if we told everyone, but unfortunately I won't be able to make it. You know, things have popped up on uh, things that I can't control. Uh, but I'm looking forward to looking into this or, you know, participating next year. Let's so, go. Yeah, man. Sorry, you had a good spirit. time last year, man. You're still recovering, huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's a long ass hangover. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> 365 day hangover. Fuck. Hey, man. It was a good time. It was a good time. Shout out to all the, the, the Arizona people that I met. Showed me a good time. So that's good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, fun times. Arizona weather has been fucking inconsistent and ridiculous. Yo, is, is the Phoenix Zoo still on or what? Or is it calm down now? You know what's crazy is is, is they, either they did a really good job of suppressing the noise as far as all the extra shit that's going on, or nothing really happened. Uh, probably a little bit of both. Yeah. I don't know about nothing happened. I don't know. Well, about I want to say that. nothing, like literally nothing, but like it was. It's definitely like how do I say this? It's Maybe. definitely not as much. Like I would expect to see like stories, videos, like people recording. You know, because everybody has a phone now, so everybody has yep. a camera. So I expected, yeah. you know, see some crazy shit. Nothing's come up. Nothing has popped up. Nothing, anything. So maybe people got smart and say, let's not record it. Let's do our crimes on the low. <laughs> Let, it's not telling ourselves. And, you know, nah, people are not that smart. I'm sorry. People, people got to. <laughs> and I say, I, I say that not because not it's not that smart. It's just that they have to have content to post. And yes. when you have, when you're attending Super Bowl activities, which we'll get into the Super Bowl itself in a minute. But when you're attending Super Bowl activities, you got to post that shit. You, you got to let the people know. You know, when's you the next, when's the the next time the Super Bowl's come back to Phoenix? Uh, at least six, what? seven, eight, ten years. We'll get I mean, the Super, Super Bowl only happens in, in, in certain locations. So by the time it comes right back, it'll, it, I mean, it may be 10, 12 years, something like that. Didn't it happen in Minnesota, like 2018, which is rare, like a cold state? Yes, yeah, because it got that dome. Yeah. All right. But even 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 it's in a cold state. They tried it one time. Remember that that one time they had in New York? And luckily the weather wasn't that bad. It wasn't snowing or anything it like was, that. It was it was like what, yeah. 2014? In no. that new in no, that no, new no. stadium that the Giants have with the Jets. That was like what 20 it, uh, that was like 20 Met 2011, 2012 something like that. I remember that. I don't remember something like that. And I remember the the weather actually cooperated. There was no snow or very little snow. To the point where it didn't affect the game, which is what the NFL wants, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they said, "All right, we'll go, we'll go to cold cities, but not, nah, but it's got to be a dome." Yeah. You know, Detroit had one. Well, it's been a while since Detroit had one, and then Minnesota See, Detroit had. Detroit is it. smaller than, than, than Arizona, like Phoenix, like yeah. downtown Detroit. I've been to downtown Detroit. It's smaller, so I can only imagine all the nonsense going on over there. I mean, it's still a major city, though, right? I yeah, mean, but it, it's clearly. Tiny. It's, it's yeah. like I said, it's tiny. Like you can walk from one side of the city to the other in 15, 20 minutes. I got you. Like it's that small. Maybe or maybe they tried it out that one year and they said maybe the city's not big enough to host a Super Bowl. I mean, the stadium is a dome, so it can clearly, you know, house it. But Ford, as far as Ford the city Field. and yeah, Ford, no Ford, yeah Ford Field, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
that's what it's called so maybe that's what it is but you know next year is back to louisiana if i'm not mistaken nolens no i'm sorry vegas next year's in vegas the year after uh-huh. that is in new orleans bro it was yeah. snowing in vegas this week what it was snowing on the strip in vegas what yeah <laughs> i'm telling you the weather i hear be well, wild i mean vegas new stadium gambling city of the world of the world or whatever sin it is city. Of the country. sin city of the world sin city sin city oh my god that's Maybe gonna be the, world, a, the vegas zoo oh that's gonna be a whole nother animal anyway uh so let's get into <laughs> let's get into what we're drinking crazy let's get into what we're drinking uh so currently what are you drinking today sir man so i picked this bottle up specifically because of the label i didn't oh. do any research on it i just said the label looks cool and I read the story in the back because, you know, now now I'm into reading stories like you got me doing that. Right. <laughs> and I am drinking horse soldier. OK. This is a uh, straight bourbon whiskey. Um, they are from a company called American Freedom Distillery. So when I picked it up, I was like, OK, this is my my wave. This is, right. This is, this is you were there speaking to you. This is. Yeah. It was like, come, come grab me. You're a veteran. I'm a veteran. Let's do this. Right. <laughs> So then it, the story reads, uh-huh. the, the United States of America was forged by pioneers, bold trailblazers, explorers, and warriors. In the American spirit of, spirit of adventure, we proudly present Horse Soldier Bourbon Whiskey. So then the story goes, Horse Soldier Bourbon Whiskey is uniquely cotton complex and aged in charred new American oak barrels. Every bottle of Horse Soldier Whiskey is a piece of American history. It is carefully mm-hmm. crafted by Green Berets. Oh. Uh, who answered America's call just days after 9-11 with a Good daring shit. insertion into northern Afghanistan on horseback. I didn't know this. Oh. This I'm brave so, and unconventional... Yeah, I'm sorry. Say again? No, no, no. This, br- this brave and unconventional act earned them the moniker the Horse Soldiers. I did not know this. Yeah, that's I didn't know that in 2001, 2002... 2000, you know, in that 2001, no, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, 2003 is when the war popped off, 2002, late 2002 yeah. to 2006. I didn't know we were riding horses into war, into battle. I, I'm I not surprised. That. I'm not surprised because you think about it, Afghanistan and all that stuff, everything happening, it's easier to sneak in on horse than it would be like a fucking tanks and shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, didn't I mean, know how either. do we? I, I had no idea. I know we have horses for like ceremonial and yeah, parades yeah. and stuff like that. One of my friends did that, but I didn't know it took him into battle. So, I'm pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure they bought them locally and, and brought them over. They didn't, they didn't ship them over over in the plains. <laughs> I I, so. <laughs> Amazon delivered them? Yo. Was, it, was that kind of Bezos? Jeff Bezos dropped them off? Be like, yo, here. Go it's in the like war. overnight delivery fam. Got you. Toma. Okay. Go, go fight the war. <laughs> yeah, man. Go these guys, guys are in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, okay. Shout out to Columbus. Yeah. Shout out to them, man. I fuck with Columbus. So then I... So then I started doing some research on these guys and then, you know, the aroma, according to the website, says the aroma is toffee, sweet corn and apple. Um, The tasting says caramel, vanilla, toasted corn, honey, nutmeg, custard with a hint of spicy oak. How the fuck did you get custard in that? I have no fucking idea. Custard is a weird taste. Like that's just, I I, I, I get custard pie and custard filling is what comes to my mind. So that's going to be like super sweet. So maybe, the weird maybe, part maybe is lemony, I think it is like a little lemon. To be quite honest, like um, I'm starting to to I guess my palate is learning more. Yeah. And I like I like the ones that give you that burn at the end. <laughs> I really <laughs> I don't know why. So when I first tried this, you know, the smells good. It's kind of light, to be quite honest. It doesn't yeah. hit you like a ton of bricks, right? So you, you, you kind of get like a small, like a like a light fl- uh, s- smell to it. Okay. And then I tried it, and it's smooth. Mm. There is no burn, very little burn at the end. It's a good tasting one. So, so I recommend it. Um, somebody commented a little while ago when they asked me, was it as smooth as the, the, the Legend, the first yeah. one we had a couple weeks ago? And they're completely different. The mm. Legend... I prefer the legend because it was it was much stronger in the back end. It had that burn that I was just telling you about. But that wasn't a but bourbon. But this one right? is a good one. No, the legend was, yeah. It was? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was That's a bourbon that was eight that was they aged it in uh, wine barrels, no? Wasn't that something like that? Um 
Coño, I don't remember. But it was it was something that um yeah. I guess it was uh, something sherry unique bottles. about it. Sherry, sherry, bo- sherry casks, yeah, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And then it was like a, a a collaboration with a Japanese Yeah, yeah, that's what it um, was. Master blender with some American. So I I'm guessing the mix between the two created a special flavor. I don't know. All I know it was damn good. That shit was solid. This one, yeah, it was solid. This one is not as strong, not as like that burning to it. Yeah. But I but I fucks with this. Okay. Plus the story. You can't fuck with the story, man. Service members, you know, I salute them. So thank you Horse, for your service as well. Riding. Horseback riding. I mean, can you imagine that? Horseback riding. You got a, a rifle. You got rounds. You ready to fight. This is after 9-11. I, so. I, need to, I need to look up after this show. I need to look up at, uh, like, a military horse. Like, active duty. Active in the war. Like you said, the ceremonial ones, I'm, I, I know. I've heard of. I've seen but actual like because you know how the dogs have like the vests and shit and they have certain pockets and whatnot yeah yep. so same yep. thing like i want to look with that, that up yeah because i know like like military policemen i i forget where i know it, it was in hawaii they have mm-hmm. kennels where they train the dogs and then they issue them to certain people certain policemen i knew about the dogs but i know about horses like four fighting horses i didn't know that and then uh let me give these guys a quick shout out though this they got a, a double gold medal winner the 2019 san francisco world spirits competition so Ooh. somebody out there must think that this shit is good i mean they clearly got an award three years ago or four years ago so uh-huh. shout out to them man keep up the good work guys so i just googled military horse battle ready and i got everything from the fucking civil war and shit like that <laughs> So I'm, gonna do some more yeah, I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, a, I'm curious myself. I'm gonna do some research on that because I didn't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. No sabia. That's interesting. No sabia. Yeah. Somebody out there knows. Tell us. Talk to yeah, us. Yeah, if you know, put so me on. So what's the rating? That. I'm gonna give this a. I'm gonna go three five, three point five. I like it. I thought you said you like the burn. I. It doesn't have the strong of a burn that I prefer, but that doesn't make it bad. It's still okay. good. You can still you can still drink this on a on a Friday night after a long day's work. You know what I'm saying? Got you. All right. But I do prefer I do prefer the other burn. Yeah. What do you What do you got? I have uh, Casa Agria is the brewery. So they're out of this is called Double Dry Hop Oxnard. Wait, I can't read because it's a, it's a silver letter, a silver background with red letters. So it's like super hard to read. Mm. Uh, is it uh, double dry hop Oxnard is a double dry hop hazy American pale ale brewing sorry brewed to celebrate that place our brewery calls home the aroma bursts with a hop blend that includes some old school hops some new money hops and some from where you'd expect and some hops from where you wouldn't <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm reading this oh, all yeah. fucked up because of the the background and everything. It's just not the easiest to read. Uh, and then we do, and then we then we double that. So I'm a sucker for pale ales. For those who don't know, um, pale, pale ales are amazing. Dude. I love a good pale ale is my shit. Then you bring on a hazy pale ale like this one. Mm. So for those of you listening, this is pretty pretty opaque, pretty thick opaque one. And my salute to glass. Bruce glass. Salute to Bruce glass. glass. Go to salute to bruise.com, max 15. You know what I mean? Then tag Look us. Look at that. That looks good, man. It's, it's a pretty fucking solid. Like, if you told me this was an IPA, you know, without tell, without, you know, whatever. Oh, it didn't tell me. I would assume it's an IPA because it's that hazy. Yeah. Like, it's really dark. Does it hazy. have, like, that, that fruity, uh, juicy smell to it? Yeah. It's getting and a lot the- of, like, uh, it's one of those like because it's not as hoppy as a uh, as an IPA, even though it's double dry hop. Yeah. It's not as like bitter. Um, it's it's giving me a lot of like definitely citrus, and I hate to say that because citrus is such a wide spectrum. Right, like, it could be a lemon, it could be a lime, it could be an orange or grapefruit, whatever. But you know, it's it's on the orange side, a little bit of pineapple juice. Um, See, those are my flavors right there, though. Yeah, and that's it. That's those, it's like it's like a juicy flavor, fucking citrus punches, oh, yeah. and it's got a little little hoppy uh, bitterness in the back end. Um, so it's not all smooth. It's got a nice little like bite to it, which is dope. 
Yeah. Uh, so sh- so Casa Agria, Oxnard. Shout out to Oxnard, man. I think that's where uh, I'm not thinking. I, my guy Mike Bless is from Oxnard. So this can says Oxnard on it. So Casa, Casa Agria? Is that Casa Agria, yeah. Agria, okay. Oxnard. Ag- Agria or Agria? Agria. Agria, like that's sour. Agria. No, Agria. Oh, Agria. Okay. All right, my bad. It means well, sour. I don't know how they pronounce it. I don't know how they pronounce it, but when I see that word, I, I see agria, like sour, like the, the, like the agria. Okay, I see that. Okay, I see it. Maybe I was translating from English to Spanish, and that's where I was saying agria. Could be. Um, Could but be. anyway, uh, you you said agri, agri, agria is sour? Agri, yeah, agria is sour, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe it means something else. Because this is not a sour, obviously. This is a hazy IPA, a uh, hazy paleo, excuse me. Um, if I had to give this a score, and I'll give this a score. I'd say this is a solid, right on that three and a half, easy drinking. You can have multiples of these. Six percent ABV. Um, I mean, this is this is a, you know what? Maybe three seven five, three seven five. I'm gonna change it. Okay. All right. Because now the more I think about it, because like I can, if I had to drink a beer all night long, this would be it. The way that you're describing it, mm-hmm. and being, I would probably give giving that a four, just because that's my way. So three point five, three point seven five four. Yeah. I, I, I can I can agree with that. I like, can fuck with that. This is solid. This is a really good beer. Um, like I said, if I'm drinking all night and I got I got two four packs of this, I'd be happy. And I'm drinking okay. these all night. All right. Nonstop. Speaking of drinking all night. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of drinking all night, Super Bowl has passed. Super Bowl. So Chiefs won. Chiefs one is that obviously is not what we expected because we bet against the Chiefs. Well, not that what we didn't expect. I mean, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't. Ho- I wasn't <laughs> hoping for that, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't like the way the game ended. I think the game was good mm-hmm. throughout to end it on that play because once that penalty happened, the game was over. Yeah, that that's it. Game was over. Not enough time on the clock. They're close to the to the. They're in field goal range. I mean, it's a, it's a mm. chip shot for for their kicker. It was over. I was like, "Fuck this, man!" <laughs> they killed the clock like a month. Like that. That that's well, yeah. That's that is one of those things where it is. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, don't do that, man. This is Super Bowl. Like, let's make it. Let's make it spicy. Let's have fun. Nah, they ain't. No, they're nah, like, gotcha, we're gotcha. not trying to make it spicy. We're trying to get this <laughs> ring. Get this Shit. chip and keep moving, right? That's it, man. You saw. The, 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 I mean, Philly tried to play it smart and just let that dude score, right? And yeah, he score. fell, and he fell at the end. Yeah. Well, no, he didn't fell. He he slid and declared himself down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In he, in bounds. Yeah. So the clock keeps running, and that's it. Game was over. Because they already had to, they ran they ran out of timeouts at that point. He, the Eagles didn't have any more timeouts, if I remember correctly. Right. So then at that point, it's it's over. It was like it was over. It was like Once that penalty happened, man. It was like 140 on the clock, uh, and I, the fact that they were able to kill almost two minutes in that close to the end zone is pretty impressive. <laughs> Yeah, because all they did was they run the ball, then they call like time. I think they called a timeout. Then they run the ball again, and then they got uh, then they got the penalty, and it was over, man. I, I hated it. I was hoping. I hated. That the, I hated the ending. I ain't gonna lie. I as much it. as I don't, I, I don't have any interest in the Eagles whatsoever, right? So, just saying, uh, I was hoping that there would be like a last minute score, like because it was eight seconds on the clock after the, the return, and I was mm. hoping Hurts did some wild shit. And like some last minute fucking score, and they're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> nah, nah. When I they got the ball, I think it was in the 20, 20, 25, somewhere around there. And I was like, "Jalen Hurts, his arm is not eighty yards strong." You know what I'm saying? Like if it was Justin Herbert or mm-hmm. one of these other guys that has a big arm, yeah, you can get the ball to the end zone, and then who knows what would happen, right? Penalty, something, right? Yeah. Pass interference, somebody catches it, some one of the Chiefs players tips it. Goes in the air, some dude catches in the back, fucking everybody loses their shit. Yeah. But Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts doesn't have that arm. Bro, I, I thought like I don't know. I, I I mean not that I'm disagreeing with you, but I'm like when I saw him play, he had some Aaron Rodgers type of fucking passes. I think there was a there was two in the end zone. One of them was overturned because they stepped out of bounds and checked that. And then one actually one no one was in the end zone, one was caught out of bounds. 
like both were caught out of bounds. But the fact that he was able to fucking drop that ball in that receiver's hands mm-hmm. the way he did, that was fucking impressive. Yeah, he has a strong arm, but not not 80 yards in the oh, air. Man. No, that's no. that's a lot. Yeah, that's a whole football field, pretty much. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> he's he's not that guy. You you give that dude a running start, and he can't get it there. He, I mean, and it, it was clear he 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 did it that time, and he he couldn't get it there. That I ball mean, was nowhere near the end zone. So all the Chiefs had to do was knock it down. Game's over. Yeah, but it, it is, is what it is, is man. Yeah. Shout out to the Chiefs. Yeah. Shout out to the uh, to the to the Chief fans and all you guys. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that was cool. Uh, so, speaking of Chiefs winning, so we lost, Clay and I. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know or are listening to this for the first time, in the last mini sode, I think it was mini sode, we made a bet. Uh, we made a bet as a podcast as to who would win and everything else. And pretty much, we could only lie to the Eagles. Hector was by himself with the Chiefs. And, yeah. So and he came up on two bottles. Yeah, he got two bottles now. Yep. So I'm, I'm gonna yeah. send him a bottle. You're gonna send him a bottle. I'm gonna look. I'm probably gonna send him something from. Uh, I'm thinking Arizona Distillery. I think that's what it's called. Uh, okay. Or something. There's there's a lot of local distilleries that I gotta look into. Um, so this okay. gives me a reason to explore outside my comfort zone, so to speak. Yeah. So I already know which one I'm gonna get him. It's one. It's a distillery right here, close to my house. Nice. And they got a they got a nice nice bourbon so i'm gonna get him that send him send it his way and then you know we can all talk about it oh yeah yeah good shit you got you know what we gotta do we, yeah, gotta, we gotta we gotta start sending each other samples of bourbon or whiskey because you can do that they got those little little uh bottles little brown bottles that you can buy like mm-hmm. plastic ones fill it up oh i know what i'm talking about i almost signed up for one of those uh one of those sites as a subscription and they send you the little ones and you yeah. can try whichever one and then if you want to buy the bottle then you you know what you're getting yourself into yeah and then i talked myself out of it i said nah, <laughs> i think i'm just <laughs> i'm just gonna collect start my little collection back here and over there why not what's the worst thing that can happen right i don't like it that is the worst thing that can happen <laughs> because i mean that's true if you don't like it, it sucks. You got to you're stuck with the bottle. And you're stuck with, you know, buying something you didn't like. So it is what it is. But you can all you can all always mix it with some Coke. It, yes. it, it changes the flavor a little bit, and you might you might the soda might hit a jackpot. The soda, you know what I'm saying. Soda, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Last time I said Coke, people <laughs> people put a comma where it doesn't belong, and <laughs> it's not crazy. You know, you coming from Miami, your emphasis on yeah. the word Coke. You know what I mean? I don't know. This. Yeah, people, some, some people were people were like, "Yo, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? I thought this was a family friendly podcast." I, was like, I am. What are you talking I about? I thought you were talking about liquor and beer. I didn't think y'all were gonna go that far. Jeez. Like, I, we knew you guys party, but not like that. <laughs> no, we do not. So back to the Super Bowl. How did you feel about Rihanna's performance? Because that's like what everybody watched. Everybody. What I mean, everybody, everybody. Yes, the whole world is talking about it. It was. It was alright. It was nothing out of this world, but. The minute you saw her stomach, I was like, wait a minute. Is she fat or is she pregnant? Like, I was like, yeah, oh, the belly, wow. The belly's popping. Yeah, the belly. So I was like, no, she's pregnant. So then after, once I saw that, I was like, no, you can't expect her to be doing flips and and doing going crazy with the dancing. Like, she you expected win- that. She like, do windmills. Right. Yeah, just, hey, two-step it out. The worm? Do the worm step. while you're pregnant? It, no, no, you can't do the worm. You can't whine. You can't, no, Tootsie Roll and all that. No, you can't do that. So I was like, all right, cool. And then... <laughs> I was afraid for her life though when she was up on that that, that platform. Those, uh, the oh my god! Well, she was she was chained in like that not chained but like they had a hook on her. Yeah, they had sure. a yeah yeah. So like that was yeah. that was the most I guess, but I, I guess that was enough. Like she was she, her balance is pretty good because then sw- I was I was worried about swaying and all this shit. And I'm like she's gonna because I thought she was gonna come down on the platform and then get off like immediately. She's still on that. Yo, what if for you get dizzy when you're up there? Oh, you should have practiced that. There's no way in hell she just did that for I, the first time. <laughs> no, no, of course, of course. But what I'm saying is, oh, watch what if she's pregnant? It's, it's game day. You're pregnant. Your hormones, all that, and then now this fucking thing is going up and down, and you're, no, oh my god. <laughs> Once I saw that, I was like, oh shit. She Please is don't though. Fall off of there. She is the first ever pregnant performer at the Super Bowl. Yeah, she is. Where, where was Beyonce that time she pulled the belly out? Where was she at? Was oh, she I think that was like the Grammys, some shit like that. It wasn't it wasn't the Super Bowl, that's nah, for sure. It might have been the Grammys or something like that. I know you're talking about yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but um, they kept it. They kept it safe. It was very, you know. I was, I was, wait, I was waiting seven, for her eight to, people up on screen. I, mean, I was waiting for her stage. to do some wild shit because Rihanna's Rihanna. Like she's at a point in her career where she don't give a fuck. I mean, I don't were think, she, I don't think, huh? Were you really expecting some crazy? I was. I don't know. I was. I was expecting her to bring out like Jay Z when she did Umbrella. I was expecting her to bring out. Uh, oh, maybe Kanye might have showed up when they did fucking no. uh, Diamonds Are Forever. No. I would have loved that. No. I would have no. loved that. The shine bright like a diamond. Sorry, it, shine bright like a diamond. Oh, is it shine bright? Is, uh, is that the Kanye track? No, it's uh, Run This Town. Yeah, Run This Town. Yeah. Kanye is not getting anywhere near close to that stage. I would have loved it if he would have showed up no. just for the fuck of it. Not that I support him, so let me be clear. <laughs> I don't support Kanye, but just for the no. randomness and to see the fucking everybody go wild, like one way or the other, I just would have loved to see that. That's it. I mean, think about it, right? Isn't Rock Nation's pr- uh, producing the halftime shows now, right? I don't know the details behind that. They, they, right, they, 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 are, right? they, so, they definitely reposted the fuck out of her. Yeah, so they're, because they're producing it. Like last, they produced, um, when was it? They produced The Weeknd, they produced last year's show, and they produced the one before that. I last year who it was, was them? I thought it was, isn't that Aftermath? No, no, Aftermath was last year. Before yeah. that was the weekend. And then the one before that, I forget who it was. They produced all of them. Mm. Right? Rock Nation is not trying to fuck up that relationship by bringing Kanye on stage and either him doing some wild shit or the fans and, you know, pissing off a certain group of people. They're not trying to fuck that up. I'm, I'm saying, like, like, I think Rihanna's at a point in her career where she can say, fuck this, I can do whatever I want. And if she would have brought him out, that would have been his only get out of jail free card that the world would have said, all right, cool. <laughs> but, with- but think about this, though. Her and Jay-Z are like this. And Jay-Z's running Rock Nation. So has she done that, that she would have fucked up the relationship between Jay-Z I, I and the NFL. I don't think that's good. I mean, again, just me speaking generally, right? Yeah, we don't know. I, any I, don't, of we just- I don't think Jay-Z gives a fuck in that sense. Like he wants nah, that. NFL, he, he wants the NFL deal, but he doesn't he doesn't like. If he doesn't know, he can say, I didn't know. I had no clue. That wasn't part of the script. She went off script. You know no, what I mean? No, like, no, no. that's not something that's yeah, happened before. But then even if she goes, even if they say, oh, I didn't know that. It's like, okay, well, you're producing the show and you didn't know that. Then I guess yeah, we can't guess. trust you with our halftime show. All right. And yeah. It is what let's it bring is. Back, let's bring back whoever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know what's funny, though? Everybody loves Rihanna. Yes. Like. I was at the bar and the the amount of people that were rooting for her or excited to see her, right? The 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 crowd was mixed as fuck, but everybody was all about Rihanna. When I say mixed as fuck, I'm like, "Yo, why are you so excited for Rihanna? Why is it? I have people telling me they're mad she's pregnant again cuz you know, they don't have any chances now. Like obviously they're they're joking, but like there's so <laughs> many little things that people like love her like her hate group is probably much smaller. Like people hate Beyonce but love her at the same time, right? So people hate Be- like, there's a group of people that hate Beyonce. I know that for a fact. Yep. Whitney Houston, there's people that hated Whitney Houston, right? It is what it is. Rihanna, like, I don't think the 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 the, the hate group for her is gotta be so minuscule that they don't even yeah, recognize like- as a hate group. They're like, yo, there's, there's too few of you guys. We're not even calling you a group. You guys are not nobodies. <laughs> they're not a record label or a crew no like you know, it's it's crazy because like i said everybody like everybody at the bar they were into the football game not into the football game whatever it was everybody stopped and said rihanna's on focus we got to watch her work we got to see what she does and is it is it because she hasn't pissed off like a group of people could it be that again i'm getting to the point where i don't think she gives a fuck like Kanye, well, didn't I'm give, saying Kanye like didn't give growing a fuck. up, yeah, yeah, and he's paying the price for it too. We, that's a whole separate conversation because there's, yeah, there's some new shit that's come up. Oh, some new shit, yeah. But um, I don't know. Like those people that hate Beyonce, why do they hate her? Is it because she's successful? Is it because I don't? I mean, I don't know. Whatever the reason is, I don't know. But yeah, that's true. Like the public hate for Rihanna is minimal. Minimal. Like, Not that I know. Where... I don't. I never seen anybody say I hate that bitch for whatever. Or, you know. <laughs> Or any, or any figure, any, any, any collection any, of those words. In the mix. Yeah. <laughs> Take that word out and put whatever word you want to put in there. Whatever insult you want to. Uh, I don't think. I've I, seen I, it I like can't. That. I can't. I can't tell you one time I heard somebody say, "Yo, I hate Rihanna. I don't like Rihanna." I, da, 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 da. Like, I won't listen to Beyonce. I won't. And it's not because I hate her. I just don't. I'm not into her music. But what? like Rihanna, 
Rihanna, you play any Rihanna track, I can fuck with it. Like her, that whole set that she played, bro, she fucking flexed her songs. Well, she 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 put a lot of features though. She flexed her songs though. Like she has a catalog she, she, that's pretty. She, she, she flexed a couple of her songs, and then she flexed some songs that she was featured on. All I'm saying though is she was flexing. <laughs> she, got, I mean, she got. Yeah, she got some songs with Khaled. She's she got some songs with Jay Z. She got some songs with uh, she got songs with Kanye, with like you said. She got Eminem song, she, right? Did she that? got Eminem song. Yeah. So she got she. You got to be big enough and have uh, uh, enough records, either that you featured on or that have made it big, for you to be, even be considered to be on the on the Super Bowl stage. So she clearly has that. I don't know and what she did. Well, was, people people were like, oh, it was boring. It wasn't that serious. I'm like, listen, I thought it was just enough where it wasn't too much too little you know you didn't go too wild you didn't go too overboard nobody took off their clothes and shit like that like it wasn't like not that i'm against it but at the same time i was like relax. there was no titties flying around right <laughs> there was no Is titties it? there was no there, it, 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 there's no nalgas hanging out no culos no butts because <laughs> <laughs> last see, year the thing last is, year we had what was it the year before that we had shakira and j-lo so oh that was that was it that was the first year that that rock nation uh did it it was in miami that's what it was yeah and they were that was my favorite one by the way if you didn't like that one that's on you you got problems but anyways, i think bad bunny was, was in it too was, right bad bunny came out in all silver no i think that was um was it bad bunny or was it the other cat j balvin oh shit i, think, I want to say bad bunny but i could be wrong maybe you're right maybe j balvin but bad bunny sounds right one, one it was one of those guys i like that show there was a lot of people there was a lot of choreography there was motherfuckers everywhere and then last year they had dancers just on the field mm. and snoop and, and yeah and they 50 and all set. that so they had the yeah they had all and that was cool and then she was up there by herself and a million dancers there was a lot of fucking dancers up there yeah she the, the coordination to have that many people uh that was pretty impressive because that was to have that live and i don't know if i saw any fuck ups but oh i'm sure there was a fuck up i didn't see it if she did yeah. i didn't see, and i watched the whole thing because I was, I was, I'm telling you, she was playing her catalog, and I was into it. I was like, all right, I do fuck mm -hmm. Rihanna. You know, I mean, like, I could, like, if Beyonce Remember, went we also catalog, watched it in a, we also, yeah, we also watched it in a delay, so if there was a uh, any fuck ups. Oh, that's right, because of the titty, the infamous, yeah. infamous <laughs> titty. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was the most. They, uh, they, they made the show titty proof. Th to so like, that was the most TV'd moment in like ever. Like people were rewinding it to see situation that's what we're gonna call the situation okay la teta it's a situation <laughs> what do you want to go <laughs> um but speaking, let's just call it the moment let's call it, it was a good moment so speaking of uh football in general so a man ocho cinco says that he saved 83 percent of his entire salary by flying commercial that's a smart dude I don't I don't knock it at the same time no, it's like not at, all. at the same time I'm like I fly commercial myself and I'm not broke but I, you know I'm not Ocho Cinco money right and I'm like if I had an opportunity to fucking <laughs> to fly not do everywhere that everywhere though <laughs> I mean not everywhere but like it, it's the hassle it's what it is like that's yes. all that's all yes. that's the 90% of my problem and plus I'm tall yep. as fuck so if I don't get the exit row or something like that then it, it's a it's a it's a shitty flight for me but I'll I'll give you that, but I don't know how much a private jet costs. You don't do and private jets. You can do small jets. You can do this small. It's still this a private jet though. Is is that even if it's if you you're sharing with other people? It, yeah, because I mean you're privately renting it. Even if you split it, go half on it with somebody else, it's still a private jet. Because I don't know how much it costs, but I mean, but if you spend if if you every flight that you take, and these guys fly everywhere for appearances and. Uh, contract signings all kinds of things whatever they're doing if you fly all the time yeah that shit gets expensive and, I, I, probably and I don't know if Ocho made that kind of money like that in his career I don't know how much he made do you, do you, you remember that number Ocho Cinco yeah <laughs> that would be stupid <laughs> he's, he's I don't know if he got like Jay-Z money or no, 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 he's, he's not a billion he's, he's no oh, he's six, not, not 16, even close 16 million oh no he can't no Bro, 16 can, million, if you can dedicate, if you have 16 million, assume, no. okay, let's assume you have about 8 million, right? Because you, your net worth isn't exactly what you have in your bank account. 
Yep. Let's assume you have eight million in your bank account, right? Whatever it is, half of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm probably gonna dedicate a million to travel expenses alone. And so now you, uh-huh. and I think uh, who was that? I, who was that? I, I oh shit, um, I forget who it was. I want to say Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban. Uh, he bought. He he did the smart deal where he actually bought. If I remember his correctly, his own plane. No, 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 no. The story with him in American Airlines, where he just like, yo, I'm gonna fly all the time. What do I have to pay just to fly anywhere I want? And oh, he bought American. Oh, fuck. I think it's Mark Cuban. Oh, See, I hear Mark, Mark Cu- Cuban spent. No, Mark Cuban. Hold on. Mark Cuban spent one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars on a lifetime pass for American Airlines. A okay, lifetime pass. Okay, hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. You, if you got eight mil, okay, yeah. fine. I'll, I'll, I'll roll with that. But is it a private jet or? Doesn't matter. He just, he, it's, it's like that's if you. First of all, I don't know if they still offer that because this was this is something he did a long time ago. But yeah. you know, like if you have that option, or if you're if you're a common you know uh, flyer with a certain airline, mm-hmm. you're gonna get discounts. You're gonna get deals. You know, like shit, he could have easily, like, I mean, I don't know what, I'm pretty sure his, his agent tried, but he could have done like some other shit where it's like, yo, American Airlines, I'm going to, you know, put me in your commercials and just give me free flights or something like that. You know, like whatever it is. But remember, Ocho, Ocho was problematic. <laughs> he, him and Terrell Owens? I don't know if people were signing up to give him deals. <laughs> I and do so, like his I podcast, remember- though. He, he's very entertaining. He seems like a really good dude, but he was he was not a troublemaker. That let's not go there and say he was a troublemaker. I don't think he was ever in trouble. But he was problematic on the field. This dude was getting yeah, yeah. fines because he was doing all these was it crazy because of him? It, very entertaining though. Yeah, he was yeah, of course. It was well, all didn't celebrations. They, didn't, they, didn't they kill didn't they kill celebrations because of him for a while? They stopped it for like two, three years. But you couldn't do anything. I don't for, know if it was because of well, remember yeah, because well, who pulled out the cell phone? No, it from, was, from the, it from was the, terrible. No, that was Joe Horn from the Saints. From the goalpost? Yeah. No, the, that was Terrell Owens. Yeah, yeah. So it was but one of the two. Oh, I mean, they, they both Remember were Terrell equal. Owens pulled out that Sharpie at, at his sock and signed the football? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. See, all three. So Terrell Owens was the one that went, went crazy with the celebration. And then uh-huh. um, Chad Johnson went crazy with it. And that's when they stopped it. They started fining people. And then the NFL got smart, and now they're like giving out awards for the best celebration, which is yeah. hypocritical as fuck. Well, but you know they, they knew like people didn't go, like that. The, the fans didn't like that. Like, let them celebrate. It was too boring. The fans, well, yeah, the, the, the fans loved the celebration, so they were like, fuck it. If the fans love it, let them do it, and then we'll vote on it, create more buzz for the NFL. Yeah. They got smart. But before, they were trying to be too strict, <laughs> and then that, I'm sure they that pissed off a bunch of people. But he, he racked up some fines. For all the things he did. Ocho Cinco? Without a doubt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe, that's why, that he, maybe a, that's why he didn't fly private because he had so many fights. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it all. There we go. Mystery solved. His, his budget was for not for flying, <laughs> but for fine. He had a million dollar in fines alone. That's speaking yeah. of flying. Oh, man. Did he, remember he, had, he asked that girl that, that went she later to marry him? Like, that was obviously he was playing, playing around or whatever. Then he had yeah. that Hall of Fame jacket. And then it said Hall of Fame 20, and then it had a bunch of, they had two question marks. They find them for that. They find them for everything. Jeez. Oh, man. But I like him. I like him. He was not a troublemaker. He was a good uh, he was a example guy for in the, the field. kids. Yeah. He was, and he performed on the field. So, you yeah. know. So listen. Shout out to him, man. Save your money. If you have, if you have 5 million, 8 million, whatever the fuck, millions, like, give or take, mm-hmm. would you fly commercial or would you fly private? That's the question. That's what we got to get the feedback on. Like I would, I think I'll be, I'll be mixed. I'd be it mixed. depends where I'm going. Yeah, and especially, especially if it's a celebration or something like that, or like something I want to have. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. If I'm flying like to Europe, I'm taking a. That's you got to be comfortable. You know, if it's a long flight, you want to be comfortable, right? But if I'm flying from like Texas to, you know, I don't know Vegas or something like that, it's a short flight. I'll take Spirit, bro. I'll take Spirit right here. Frontier. That's like that that a shorter flight, bro. From here to from here to Vegas is forty five minutes. Yo, that's you the go- one you gotta fly your own plane, man. Bro, that's fine. That thing. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nope. Nope. Uh, shout out to all the Spirit and Frontier uh employees. You guys are weird as fuck. 
<laughs> you guys put up with a lot of shit, man. <laughs> no, you guys are weird as fuck. I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. You I, motherfuckers I, are guilty by association, bro. Of all the all the wild shit that happens on those. No, man. You no. know how? You, so you know how you're walking through the terminals and everything, and you finally get to the terminal that you gotta get on. The one time that I flew Spirit, literally, I could tell the difference from the rest of the terminals to the terminal there of this the, the class of people wait, wait, wait. and things like that. It was just the weirdest thing ever, bro. What did you, What did you notice that was so different? It was just like. It's because one, you know, like they're all standing and packed. Like, you know, I, I don't know. Like, it just—it was just a weird setup. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? Like, relax. Like, sit down or it's whatever. Like, yeah, because the passengers are like, you gotta fend for yourself. You gotta like Bro. fight. And you gotta you gotta box people out. You gotta be six four. You gotta you gotta position. box people out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get it under the paint. You know, like you're fighting for a position just to get that. No. No, Imagine you gotta no. fight for your seat because somebody wants it. No, this is my seat. <laughs> you five one, just 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 sit in the back. Like, take whatever you can get, man. Because you you're know, not boxing anybody out. Speaking of which, you know, like I feel bad for the air marshals that are gonna fly Spirit. <laughs> you imagine being an air marshal and you're like what'd you get today currently oh i got american airlines i got oh fucking spirit again where are we going god damn it (laughs) it's the longest (laughs) flight it's an eight hour flight for no reason (laughs) you're like god damn they don't pay me enough for this shit (laughs) yo trade me trade me i'll go i'll go (laughs) i'll take two of your spirit days you give me one of your delta american (laughs) airlines whatever (laughs) i'm gonna call him sick i'm gonna call him sick Call you imagine being an air marshal. Call, you man. imagine being an air marshal and being fucking PTO or, or calling out sick, like some shit like that. Oh man, those dudes might might lose their patience and shoot somebody just because <laughs> they lose their patience. Like yo, <laughs> you look like a terrorist. Come here, like no, like, chill the fuck out, bro. Yeah. Oh, listen, but listen, Ocho Save saves money. money saves money. Uh, again, if you have eight mil, eight, eight mil, five mil, whatever. Uh, Fuck it. Let's keep it simple. If you you reach 1.2 million, some whatever, what's your options? What are you doing? It's not a. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. These days, it's not a lot. I mean, you gotta if you if you have 1.2 million in your checking account, you sh- um, you should be having. You're doing your math wrong because you should have some shit in your savings. You should have some shit other where else. But like, hey, I'm not accountant. I'm not. I listen. I, I'm not good to money, so I'm not gonna sit here and give you money advice. 1.2. 1.2 is not a lot. I'll take 1.2. I mean, I'll take it, of course, but it's that, when you look at it, you're like, wait a minute, a house costs X. And you're like, hold on a second. That's two houses. So it's not like a, an insane amount of money where you just lose your mind yeah. and you think you're good for the rest of your life. Don't nope. get those cribs houses in 1.2 million. Nope. Yeah. You're not, your no. tax is going to be more than a third of that. Exactly. So you, you, you got to <laughs> stay in your financial lane. That's what, let's just say that, man. Yeah. So listen, I'm done. My Oxnard. Casa Agria. Wait, Agria, right? That's what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oxnard. Uh, again, shout out Oxnard. My boy Mike Bless from Oxnard. Assuming this is the city that they're referring to. It's a dope label. I like it. I fuck with it. It's like it's like yep. graffiti on a train. I like it. So anyway, uh, back with a new beer, back with some new shit, and then uh, we'll go from there. What do we got? We back. Kremi. Name it You drinking the same shit? Or sauce? Yeah, man. The more that I'm drinking it, the more I'm liking it. Okay. Like I said, not that, that not no, that heavy burn at the end, but um, I'm fucking, I, I like it. I really like it. All right. Shout out to uh to my guys in Ohio, man. Columbus, yo, Columbus is dope. If you've never been to Columbus, Ohio, I'm not saying you got to go out of your way to go there, but if you have an opportunity, go check it out. It's pretty dope. Pretty American much. Freedom Distillery. That entire city lives and breathes Ohio State Buckeyes. Like, so I'm gonna piss. I'm gonna piss off some Ohio people, man. Fuck Ohio State. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not yeah, saying I you got. I'm not saying that you know we gotta like them. I'm just saying that. Anyway, oh, yeah, the whole town is <laughs> yes, but fuck Ohio State. The entire town. If that if that state if that city were to like leave for whatever reason, that entire city would just crumble into the <laughs> ground. Like that's how serious it is. The whole. The whole state just goes down this Bruh, Not the state, but the whole city. Like the Columbus, Ohio city, that shit would just fucking collapse because the entire, eat the McDonald's, everything's around the colors of the Buckeyes and everything else, one way or the other. It's a big, it's a huge school. Huge school. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, people are crazy out here about ASU and U of A, but I've never been a college guy, so like, 
don't touch my college sports and shit. I don't know shit. I hate them because of what happened in the 2002 national championship game against the Miami Hurricanes. That's another story for Ooh. another episode. I mean, you went back. But yeah. You went back, back. Yo, that shit hurt, man. I almost cried. <laughs> so I'll get into my beer real quick so we can get back to the conversations. I'm drinking a Neonic from the Shop Beer Company out of Tempe, Arizona. I think, Grenny, oh. this is one of the sours that you liked. That, the, is that the orange one? Yes, sir. Orange Julius. Yeah. Yeah. Orange Julius. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, buddy. So, definitely uh, a dope beer. I don't even have to drink because I had so many times. Uh, I don't have to sip it, but I'm going to just for the hell of it. What did I say? The hell of it? Hell of it. Just for the hell of it. There you go. Hell of I, it. I do remember. That's the one I had when um, I accidentally walked out with that glass. It was please, a mistake. I'm please so, stop I'm sorry to yourself. Stop beer yeah, but, anyway, you know, it happened, man. So. It happened. It was a good time. I walked out. I didn't realize I had it in my hand until like four hours later. I was like, wait a minute, where'd this glass come from? This is probably my 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 favorite sour out of Arizona. Ooh. I can't think of on top of my head, I can't think of a sour that would top Neonix orange juice so the neonic is a series of sours that they put out right different flavors and everything else the orange julius one that i'm drinking now this is the one that smokes smoke smokes what's going on me today the most consistent <laughs> like what the fuck is happening bro you ever see you ever, you ever seen uh was it bruce almighty he's still, he's when, still when, when, yeah, he, he when he's typing in the yeah. fucking thing it's like that's what's going on right now i'm like the hell is happening anyway Neonic Orange Julius is hands down probably my favorite sour out of Arizona. So challenge me, come fight me, whatever you want to do, eat a dick, because I think it's great. Wow, you, you took a little too far, but okay. Why? Yo, is, is the <laughs> shop is when are they bringing back that? Uh, uh, what's that one I like? Ooh. I don't know. Uh, Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Uh, Teddy, Teddy Mercury. Teddy uh, Mercury. Teddy Mercury. Yes. When are they bringing that back? I, I'll ask them. It's probably not going to come back as Teddy Mercury, but they're going to come back as another beer. So they usually, you know, that was, that was a collab beer with uh, a, a bar called a Theodore out here. Uh, okay. But I'm pretty sure they're going to re-release it again as a different beer or something else. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them and let them know and see what they say. Go from there. Yeah, I really like that one. That, but I got you, Freddie. Freddie Mercury. Oh, Teddy man, Mercury. Mercury was good. Teddy. Is it Ted? Teddy. Yes, it was Theodore. One. Teddy. It was a Teddy Ro yeah. Roosevelt, and then the Freddie. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. All right. I enjoyed that one. So this beer, uh, easily a four. You know easy. I mean? Easy. So five point five point one ABV, orange vanilla milk sugar. That's pretty much a fucking damn near uh, what you call what he's swinging Probably why you liked it so much. Yeah, and it wasn't as sour as some other ones. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, Mori Soñando is pretty much a Dominican milkshake. Um, try it out. I, I don't. I look it up. I, I don't know. Like, it's, what is it? Orange juice, milk. It's orange juice and milk. So that's it. I don't. Yeah, I don't think. There's <laughs> I feel like there's more. I think there's, like, no Dominican vanilla. Nothing. Uh, I think it's, it's man, something else to be added to that. You can't just mix orange juice and milk, call it a day. Like I'm sorry. I, I, I know. I think so. Man. <laughs> It can't be that simple, god damn it. Hold on, man. <laughs> In the morning, Senando. So for those of you who are listening who don't speak Spanish, it means the dying dream. Right? Yeah, dying dream. What do you... Yeah. Uh, so, like, if you ever go find yourself at a Dominican restaurant, a Dominican place, un mori, so, mori soñando is... Mori pretty, soñando. It's pretty fucking good. It's 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 a milkshake, no but more? it's not really a milkshake. But I guess it is nah, a milkshake. It's, it's, good. it's orange juice, milk... Cane sugar and chopped ice. That's it. That sounds too easy, bro. I go downstairs right now and make that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I might get. I might make one this weekend. I'm not gonna chop some ice, but I'll fucking. <laughs> I'll still make it. You get on the rock. Yeah, on the rock. It ain't, it ain't gonna. You ain't chopping it. First of yeah, all, I, yeah, it's, it's interesting. So, um, I don't know how to make it into a vegan version. So, too bad, so sad. But if you're not vegan and you can drink milk and everything else try it out this is this is what it reminds me of that's again i think that's why you liked it so much because i think that's what it reminds you of that's probably what it is 
But I did like that one. Yeah. I did like it. Uh, so Valentine's Day was yesterday. Yes. And I did a shit ton of nothing except wow. drinking. I loved it. Okay. All right. You know, you got you to gotta love oneself first before you can love somebody else. You know what I mean? That's how I see it. You know? You got to find your okay. self-love. It, it's right. like it's like that, you know, like when I, whenever I heard that song from, uh, who is it? Neo? Let me love Which you. One? Let me love you. Uh-huh. Is that Let me love you? It's like, no. The, it's, no. Hey, that was Mario. Let me be the one to love you? Yeah, that's Mario. Not. Yeah, that is Mario. So what is a Neil song? He's like, let me lo- like love you. Love, I'll, I'll love you, or you know what? Like pretty much saying that if you don't love yourself, I'll love you. Am I missing something? Uh, nah, you probably are because they all got love songs. But go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look it up while you talk and explain. Go ahead. So what you're saying is that you were lonely last night. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> that's, that's what I heard. I wasn't lonely because I had some company, but <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Shout out to all you single people that didn't do anything last night. It's okay. Listen. It's okay. <laughs> I was chilling. I was fine. I will say you love struck uh-huh. people are assholes. Because. <laughs> oh, why? Man? Why? Some of you. Like. I, why? Why does it have to be a holiday for you to show this energy? That's what I'm saying. So. So. Uh, so check this out. Right. So my wife and I, we don't celebrate it like that. Right. Uh-huh. Like, we're not going out to dinner. We're not. No, we haven't done that in a long time, too. Because it's that's it is stressful. Like dinner reservations to go to some expensive restaurant or or any restaurant. Every restaurant you go to is going to be packed and all these other things. Like you go out of this, out of your way to do all these things that you should be doing on a normal basis anyway. Right. So we did. not I got her some flowers. I told her I love her. And life was regular. She went to work. Kids went to school. So I went to work. Came. It was just. It was just a regular day. Like you don't. You. It sounds corny to say, right? But you shouldn't need a special day to show your significant other that you love them. I mean, it's it's you know good. It's like good you, should, to you should be doing that shit all the time. It's good to celebrate, but I think that like maybe this is my preference of a relationship, and this is not that I'm looking for one. So thank you. Put it. No, thank put you. it out there, man. Put it out there. Yeah. But hit, a, hit, hit my man up on the DMs. I mean, yeah. Listen to the podcast. That's what I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Listen to the podcast. <laughs> Go check our podcast. Here's a link. That's <laughs> not what I heard. So. <laughs> Ladies. Anyway, so <laughs> what were they saying? Fuck. Oh, anyway. So like, if when if if I was in a relationship, I'm a low key kind of guy. Like, I don't mm-hmm. mind going out. I don't mind spending money. I don't mind whatever. But whenever I know there's gonna be a crowd or there's gonna be a big fucking everybody's gonna be out and shit like that that's the night yeah. i'm like now nah, let's chill in the crib let's chill in the crib let's let's order out something simple i'm a simple dude when it comes to when it comes to like just dating in general like i'm like sushi movie at home whiskey beer and we just chilling we just vibe it like that's that's how yep. simple i am like i'm really like if you like if you're the type that like oh you gotta take me out to a nice restaurant not that there's anything wrong with that but i'm like but why I'm like, is why? it is it is it does it matter? I think is depending on what stage of the relationship you're in. I'm always in, in the same stage, bro. I'm like, yo, let's chill in the crib, let's order out. <laughs> no. Maybe it's like, my New Yorker like, side. We just want to stay in the crib. We just want like, yo, order some takeout, watch a movie, drink some beer, well, drink I'm, some whiskey, and wild out. I'm thinking I'm thinking like for example, right? We well, obviously I got kids, right? We're not going out on a what was yesterday? It was Tuesday. Tuesday. Like yeah. we're not going out on a Tuesday night. We're not dressing up to go, you know, have dinner at a crowded, fancy restaurant mm-hmm. or any restaurant for that matter. Just as me and her, right? Yeah. Not on that. Not that day. We'll do that on a Saturday, on a Friday night. We'll do that just me and her. You know, we have date night. You know what I'm saying? But to do that on a Tuesday, nah. I'm telling. And I'm. I'm only. I can only imagine that if you have kids our age. You're not leaving your kids. Oh yeah. You know, get a babysitter just so you. I mean, you just got home at five thirty, six o'clock. <laughs> you're not doing all that. It's, you're doing too after much. you just party from the fucking Super Bowl. So you're just like you're exhausted from that too. Yeah. So like, I mean, I didn't party for the Super Bowl, but I, you know, I kept it very low key. Again, one of those things, kids and all that yeah. shit. So, nah, man. So, but but for sure, this weekend we're gonna do something, and we're gonna do it as a family. You know, we, we might do something. 
a family uh, thanks uh, what is it thanksgiving valentine's day outing i was gonna say thanksgiving <laughs> family's day family uh, yo that's valentine's cool. day outing there you go a thanksgiving valentine a, th- a thanksgiving meal during valentine's day that sounds fucking amazing that's what i'm talking about right there yo it's a lot turkey stuffing the, the whole thing the, the whole deal day. the whole spread <laughs> it's spread <laughs> everything yo let's do th- thanksgiving th- thanksgiving dinner during fucking valentine's day i'm down <laughs> but like i said I, i'm i'm real simple like like i said sushi movie drinks that's how simple i am like we kick it we chill avoid the crowds avoid the rush and you know we just hang out i mean i don't mind like if they're like oh we, we i want to go out this year cool we go on the day before or the day after the day of not the day of yeah. I'm, I'm good bro like i'm not doing that oh, so or the weekend of you know what i'm saying like the weekend after right oh, you know oh the week the weekend so from the weekend to weekend <laughs> we're like the- yeah you, you do it on the weekend like february it might be like february i don't know 11th right february 10th somewhere around there and you celebrate yeah. it and call it a day you don't you don't got to do it the day of i mean and you know the kind of pressure that puts on people though listen that's a whole nother conversation bro it's it's weird right because if 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 you don't come home with something you might get the, the evil eye like damn dude really like out of all the days you couldn't get me nothing you might get that <laughs> or you might get that oh you didn't have to do that yeah i know you love me right two completely different spectrums yeah but to be on the safe side i got my flowers <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i heard in a separate conver- i heard in a separate conversation that i had i mean separate obviously but and the conversation I have with somebody, it comes once every year the same day. You got a whole year to prepare. Uh huh. And that's what I that, that was all right. I was like shit. For no, For, see, see. <laughs> like like her her birthday or anniversary is more important. It deserves more attention. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, that's that's preferences. That's that's because some yeah, people, some exactly. people, some, it, some people it don't, definitely preferences. Some people don't even want to tell you it's their birthday. Like, no, nah, I don't. I'm yeah. good. Like, don't worry about it. When's your birthday? No, nah, don't worry about it. Like, yeah. Like, when is I it? I mean, shit. We talked about it last episode. Jen's birthday was last week. Yeah. She, last week. And her the day. Out. Shout out to her. Yeah. Mom. Another guys. Oh yeah. Shout out to her. Shout out to ladies. And we didn't. Uh, she didn't. She didn't want to do anything. She wanted nothing. And I said, okay, cool. <laughs> I still did. I still got her something, but. She didn't want it. She just didn't want the attention. She didn't want the big, the big old deal. So, so keep it I guess because she gets what she wants anyway. So it, it wasn't like that day is not any different than any, any other day. Yeah. So keeping it. She, uh, spoils, she spoils me. So I take care of her. Man. <laughs> Speaking of keeping it simple, uh, Cardi B and Offset are going to have a Valentine's Day McDonald's meal. Or not a Valentine's Day, but a date night. Excuse me. A date night McDonald's meal. Have you heard of this? Tell me about it. Oh, you want to? I, I, I heard a little bit about it. Tell me about it. What's what's in it? So, reading The Insider, the Cardi B and Offset meal costs $20.39 and includes both celebrities' favorite McDonald's menu items. Cardi B's favorites include a cheeseburger, barbecue sauce, and large Coke, while Offset lists a quarter pounder with cheese and a large high seat lava burst as his go-tos. The meal also includes a large fry and an apple pie to share. First of all, oh, okay. No, 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 no. We're not sharing apple pies. Get her her <laughs> own. Like I, I eat the whole. I, that's a pie. I love those. I, let me make it very clear. <laughs> One of my weaknesses when it comes down to sweets is a McDonald's apple pie. Of all the shit on that menu, that's the one that's remained consistent and it's fucking amazing no matter wh- when. Like I love it. But yeah. what if it's just to balance it all out? Like if you eat the entire meal, that's a lot of calories. So I'm, you don't want to go all out with a. Oh, excuse me, pie. excuse me, miss. Can you get her her own apple pie, please? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna eat one. If she don't eat it, cool. I'll eat the rest. But I'm just letting you know, like, she needs her own because I'm eating one by myself. Like, it's so it's one of those things. Like, you have one. If you have a little bit of one, you need the rest of it. You're like, fuck. Like, I want more. I want the rest of it. So, like, you, you don't you don't want to split that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. I can't see my. First of all, they're not that big. What? That, that is true. They're not big. They're not. They're like the size of a Snickers bar, a regular Snickers bar. Yo, what if you? What if you also get the? Um... The Sunday with it, and you got the warm apple pie with the Sunday on the side. I didn't put that together. Oh yeah, you gotta, you, yeah, yeah, you gotta get your own girl. Get your own. <laughs> assuming, assuming the ice cream machine works, we talked about that. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Congress is still looking into that. That shit's still under investigation. 
FBI is going to be into that shit. So, somebody better. <laughs> we got to solve this problem. This Chinese, shit can't Chinese this spy can't balloons continue. and fucking McDonald's ice cream scene don't work. So we, <laughs> we got to prioritize. We got to prioritize one of the two people. What's going to What's going to be? I'm going ice cream machine. And we're going ice cream machine. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, some of um, these UFOs flying around. That's a whole nother story. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> But a lot, it's a lot so of so back to the Cardi B and uh, so this is this is the second in my that I know of um, collabor no third third excuse me I'm lying third because it was a Travis Scott meal first then it was the Cactus Plant Flea Market which was when we got I got this yep the 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 large Happy Meals you got yeah, that the, weird the, creepy the looking dude meals, yeah like, a little creepy dude right here like for those of you listening I'm holding up my a, a Cactus Buddy is what it's called I, I remember correctly that motherfucker's He's creepy. <laughs> Get him off the screen, you know. This is the creepy as fuck. <laughs> Stop. That dude's creepy as fuck. So wait a minute. So Travis Scott has had his own. It wasn't like a date night. No, it was a Travis Scott you know, meal, right? and it was I forget what was in it. It was like I think it was. So I forget. No, but it, it was nothing special. It yeah, was actually, no, it's not on here. Um, but then you know, then then the, the cactus plant flea market happy meal. By the way, that shit made over five hundred million dollars. Which one, the the cactus thing? The the, the, the happy meal. Yeah. Oh. Five hundred okay. million dollars, bro, in one month. Oof. Just from because it was the, it was from October first to October thirty first. It was only for the month of October. Okay. So, five hundred million, and I feel bad because I contributed to that. <laughs> but, but I had to. I had to do it for the podcast. You know what I mean? Twelve bucks. McDonald's. McDonald's just played y'all. Cause there was nothing special, right? It was that weird. <laughs> that it was like a regular Happy Meal. Just what like Happy a, Meal it was a big? Bigger, it was a Big Mac portions. and a twenty piece nuggets or ten piece nuggets. Right. 10 okay, piece nuggets. so it was an adult. Yeah, adult Happy Meal. Yeah. and then that creepy ass toy. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, but, but five, it's one of those things that you're like, you know, what's the? I mean, like, whatever. Why not? Let's if, do it. if somebody makes you five hundred million, you're gonna you're gonna love them. You're like, yo, shake your hand. Good deal good shit brother and then and then let's go back to the marketing board and now let's put out cardi b and i'll say yo a dinner so imagine let's, let's see what these let's see what these weirdos do this is where i feel old right this is where i okay. feel like an old man because back in my day right or whatever you want to say <laughs> back in the 1900s to take a lady out as a, you know to take a lady out to a mcdonald's on a date yeah. on a date like an official date like yo this or oh, whatever was always like you're corny or you was you know you it was it was in your your teenage years or maybe even your early 20s i don't know it was whatever yeah but now people between like 25 and 35 or whatever it is yo i'm gonna get this offset cardi b meal you want to come with me blah blah, blah. you want to go out da, da, da. like that is that the is that what this is gonna be that is that what they're implying here no because it's a date night it says Ain't no way. Cardi B and Offset's date night meal. So, no, <laughs> no. Ladies, if you're listening to <laughs> my voice right now, I want you to jump in the comments and tell me, tell us, excuse me, what you would do if the guy, guy, girl, whatever your significant other, invites you to a first date and says. Let's go to McDonald's and get this Cardi B meal. So, I mean, granted, to each his own, right? But some people are going to be like, no, take me yeah. somewhere nice. <laughs> you know, and I'm not saying spend tons of money on me, but we can't go to McDonald's, right? Or if we go to McDonald's, they're going to say, if we go to McDonald's, others are, you're getting your own yeah. apple pie. So, no, no. <laughs> go ahead, sorry, with the Sunday. But some people might be like, you know what? I just want to get to know you. I don't care where we go, right? So, you might have. <laughs> Me personally, I there's no way I'm taking you to McDonald's. No. Yo, they have cups. <laughs> that says <laughs> the Cardi B and offset meal. They have man, cups no. that go with this. No, man, no. Uh-uh. Yo. You you only have one chance to make like a first imp- <laughs> like you're gonna talk about this date for the rest of your life. Right. Yo, people I, you'd be surprised. People look up to Cardi B a lot, like really heavy. So like that's this is a smart true. this to me, this is a smart move for McDonald's. Whether they fucking I don't think Cardi McDonald's B. makes yeah. any bad moves. I mean I uh, McDonald's, McDonald's McDonald's keeps you coming back. I the last time they, I had no, that's not true. I had McDonald's recently. But that's what I mean. Uh, I, 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 that's, that's because I was I was in a rush and I was like, oh, let me just get a fucking hey, uh, hot and spicy. That's spice how it. they get you. I know. That's how they get you. They're in every corner. That's how they get you. Bro. 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> then they then they then they put out an adult Happy Meal, and there you are spending twenty dollars on an adult Happy Meal. It was thirteen. Whatever. <laughs> Let's round it out to the nearest ten. Is fucking twenty. Round it up. <laughs> yeah. Why not? But like, this is ridiculous. Like, this is like what if okay what if you and your you and your other partner don't like like so for example if i'm with a lady i don't eat beef mm-hmm. but if she prefers the quarter pounder ah, but i want the quarter pounder like <laughs> oh then you <laughs> split it in half go half on it and see now that's a nice gesture See, nah, that'll get splitting you cool it half, that'll, splitting it half. No, you, splitting it half is not an option. In my, from what no, I know, that'll that'll get you cool points. I don't think splitting it half is an option. I think it's give me the fucking <laughs> or or option. I, here's my here's my 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 middle ground. Uh-huh. Take the quarter pounder. I'll take the cheeseburger, uh-huh. and I'm taking the apple pie, and you're not getting one. No, man, you're not. So what are you giving? So you're ta- it seems like you're taking everything. The quarter There's pounder. No the quarter pounder is a big fucking burger, bro. Compared to the cheeseburger, that's just tiny. What if she don't want that? I'm saying, but like, that's what I'm Yo, saying. Can like, you sub- can you substitute it? Is it? Is that a? I don't, it wouldn't be the Cardi B offset meal then. <laughs> <laughs> let me get a cheeseburger with no cheese. <laughs> Yo, let me get a McChicken. Can I trade that in for McChicken? No. Can I get a McGriddle with that? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. So just McDonald's real, didn't think of that. McDonald's real quick, didn't think of that. A, Mc, a McGriddle is probably the best breakfast sandwich ever made. Ever? I'm letting you know right now. McGriddles are fuck. Like when you think about genius, push it together. A McGriddle is okay. fucking genius and amazing. Like. It- that yeah, was some, I can, I can get that's some, that. that's some scientists ever. alien shit they put together like yo let's take this fucking pancake stuff it with maple syrup then we add a sausage then we add the eggs and then another one at the bottom bang yeah, you make it, you're making me hungry yet yeah, making me hungry. <laughs> i don't know about ever i i, I got really not ever together, but like but it's, a, it's, it's a re- it's, it's up a good, there like, it's, top yes. 5 top 5 top 5 dead or alive top 5 breakfast sandwiches ever a McGriddle? I don't know, man. I don't Bro, know. I, I will put a McGriddle in top five. I haven't had one in like 10 years, but I will put one in top five. <laughs> like, I, like do you prefer that or like one of those famous New York bagels that New York See, a bagel, is that's, that's probably my number one. A okay, New York right. bagel is now, okay. always going to win. Always. Like, that's just... Okay. I had a bagel this morning. Not about like so, <laughs> so do they do they get top five because the options are not that many? Is that what it is? No, because a bacon, egg, and cheese, a bagel... Uh, mm-hmm. Tre golpes is breakfast. Oh, okay. See, no, like, you said breakfast oh, sandwich. No. Okay, all right. So let's change it from sandwich to just breakfast meals. Hold on. That's a whole nother. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not ready to have this conversation right now. <laughs> First of all, I'm getting hungry. Second of all, we're getting way off topic. <laughs> but this is, but it's I like do like fam. this conversation. I don't like. I do like this conversation. You playing with my emotions and my hungers. I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> I got some crackers around here. Yo, okay. for those of you listening in the morning, <laughs> you guys are driving yeah. to work right now. Or whatever Yo, you're doing, <laughs> pull over right now. There's a McDonald's in the corner. You just passed it. Yo, low Get key, back, turn around. Low key, Taco Bell breakfast is fucking good. Just throwing it out there. Oh, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I did have one maybe like a month and a half ago. I had that. Um, it's the wrap. Yeah, the burrito. No, no, no. It was. It was like the. <laughs> oh, the crunch wrap. I don't know what the fuck it's called. With the, with the hash mean, round in the middle? The crunch wrap with the hash round in the yes, middle? Yes. Yes. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. It's a crunch wrap with a hash can, round. Yeah, breakfast crunch wrap. I, I, I can get behind that. Listen, Taco Bell breakfast, the few times that I've had it, they've impressed me. So I That was the them. only time. That was the only time I've ever had it. Yeah, and you know what? What's that? Speaking of, I'm, I'm going to cuss out Taco Bell real quick. This is Taco <laughs> Bell close to my office, right? And I've, <laughs> I've, I've stopped there a couple times. The motherfuckers are never open. And it turns out they open like at nine. I'm like, what kind of banker hour shit are you guys doing? Oh, a.m. In the morning. Yeah, in the morning. Oh, so shit. I pull up at seven, you know, seven thirty or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, can I get one of those? There's nobody there. <laughs> it turns out they don't open till like nine. Because I remember one time I went in late and I pulled yeah. over. And I was like, what the fuck? Now you guys are open? <laughs> Motherfucker's almost lunchtime. Why are you? Well, anyway. It's like, like an hour left in the fucking breakfast time. <laughs> Come on, man. That's well, why. See, they don't. Come on, man. Check Stop out, me. check out my Taco Bell breakfast. If you don't yes. like it, tell me. And if you do like it, tell me. 
Like I, I think that I think they're good. Like they, 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 they're underrated in my opinion. Okay. Maybe their marketing sucks. Maybe that's what it is. It is, but it's it's good. Uh, maybe we'll get a. If don't take, list. don't take anybody on the first date to McDonald's. Stop I mean, it. do stop what you got to do, man. Do what you do. Man, if, stop if, it. If, if he or she or they want to go, and that's what they want to do, take them. Fuck it. Go for it. Hey, if you like it, I love it. Save yourself a couple hundred dollars no, or a no, couple. Stop that. <laughs> no, I didn't say a couple hundred. Where are you taking these people, bro? Like, have you seen some of these date nights that have, that people go to these fucking nice, nice ass no. restaurants, bro? When you spend, you go to these restaurants. No, but you, you spend at you least two three hundred dollars. Hell no. You can go somewhere nice without like you know what I'm saying breaking out the red carpet, like bro. Come on, man. No, I'm sorry. A nice, nice, like you know the fucking oh. the, like soup, like it's it's. Oh, you're talking next level. Yeah, yeah, because I've been to these places. No, no, and I'm no, no, like, no. bro, I, 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 I'm like, yo, me. I look Jen, at the, I look yeah. at the menu and I'm like, bro, this is like fifty dollars for an appetizer. It was good. No, no, <laughs> oh no, no, no. I took Jen. Me and Jen went to Ruby Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. 17, 17 years ago, we went. Oh, 17 years. So you, gotta, you gotta start it with. I thought it was like yesterday. You took it to Ruby Tuesday for date no, night. No, no. No. Oh no, we we'll go no, no, I don't think we're going on a date night Ruby Tuesday. I heard but our first the day, when you our said first it. Day, no, our our first date, this was in two thousand seven, six, seven, it was seven, yeah. And we went to Ruby Tuesday and we had a great time. And Ruby it was Tuesday no three hundred dollars. I mean Ruby Tuesday is like twenty dollars for, for date night before McDonald's ever did it. Remember like oh, no, two for two no, two for two a- two for two Ruby Tuesday, that's what it was. No, yeah, oh, but you can't, two for you can't go to Ruby. Yeah, but you get the smaller portions. No, you gotta get your own shit. I get my own. Oh, now we want to separate. No. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I pay for it, but I'm saying like get your own meal. No, no, I meant like, like just in general, like the, the yeah, whole no, apple no, pie. No. And we had a great time. Listen, we had a great time. We didn't spend. I didn't spend no three hundred dollars. <laughs> That's for damn sure. What's yeah. the perfect date? Tell us. I'm curious now. I want to hear the perfect date. I there is, there, no, is no no. Such, there is no such thing. No, but my perfect date is real simple. It's chill in the crib, order some some sushi takeout, drink, and potentially get hammered or whatever. You know, what I mean, like that's that's I'm simple like that. Like I'm like, yo, let's just chill. Like I've been like this since I was in my twenties. Like I, I've never been like, let's go out, let's splurge or whatever it is. Be wrong. Every once in a while, I want to go out and I want to have a nice meal or whatever. That's money. But yep. it's more like a date night, like a simple, just chill, you know, relaxing from the week and shit, bro. Couch um, life, the, couch, movies, no, no, whiskey, beer. Yeah, the last couple of date nights we've been on, I'm not gonna say they were pricey, but I do, we, I do remember going to the steakhouse downtown Fort Worth. That shit was expensive. Um, yeah, that was expensive. But that was like when we first moved down here. That was expensive as shit. I remember that. Yeah, now, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying it out for. The, so you, we're trying to couple hundred you yeah, know what i mean then but yeah but i was i mean this is 15 years later like we're not doing that on first night first night first date type of shit but this is like a steakhouse and we you know what i'm saying we looked at the review we looked at the menu we were like fuck it let's go fuck it why not we just bought a house voila fuck it first i love beer dates i think i said this before but i'm gonna say it again i love beer dates meet up at a brewery meet at a bar have a beer bullshit yeah. that's got to be it for me Cause yeah, I'm not a fan of that because I want I want to eat something. I don't want to eat on a date. If I had an option, I, I wouldn't want. I don't want to eat on a date. Oh no, no, you're bugging. No, because because eating involves like there's a lot that goes into it. You know, it, it's it's if you're drinking, you I think you're more social when talking when you're drinking than when you're eating. Like I we can bullshit or, or, more when we're drinking, especially as we're getting buzzed, because then the conversation no, progresses. No. What? No. Not on the first date, man. Why not? Let's get fucked up. Let's see how you are. I want to see oh, you drunk. <laughs> well, yeah, but you you, you let I want to see you drunk. And I, see, I want to see what I'm getting myself into. Like, if you were crazy but drunk. You, yeah. No. Nah. I, I, I'm with you. If you were you, chill you drunk. You don't do that on the first day. Why not? You do that on the second, third day when you, you know what I'm saying? You, you take, go out somewhere else and you let the crazy a little bit out the back. I think, I think right? that's what you change. You want to hold your narrative. crazy in. Nah, show me show me everything up front. Pull, pull your cards out up front, bro. Like I'll, I'll show you mine. You show me yours. We'll figure out where you want to go from there. No, no, no. Because some people can't, can't like, you know, see somebody's crazy and like appreciate crazy. Be like, you know what? I can fuck with this crazy. Listen. They like, some people are like now looking for perfection. They're like, oh, no. 
No. I'm razor no. crazy. She drinks so. She drinks with her left hand. I'm, I don't like that. And you know, like, <laughs> come on, man, stop. Like, she they're just looking for she like ordered shots of Hennessy for no reason. Pre- no pre- <laughs> like it was three a.m. She asked for tequila shots. I can't do that. She's not. So I'm no, saying, like, that's that's what it is. I think you get to know somebody when they're drunk. Mm-hmm. If you can handle them when they're drunk, you can handle them when they're sober. My, I think I, that's the I think that's the that's the that's the love test. My love. I test. agree. I agree. The first date is not the time for that. Yeah, go drinking. Nah, no, nah, no, man, no, no, no. I learned I learned a lot about I learned a lot about people when it comes down to how they drink, and I learned more than talking. Yes, you know why that that's. Cool. <laughs> Never mind. We're not gonna go into that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was about to let some crazy out. No, Go for it, man. No, no, <laughs> the no, world no. see the crazy. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it wasn't that crazy. I just did some embarrassing shit way back when, because mm. I because I went a little crazy and I said, nope, can't do that again. All right, so wrap it up. Will Smith announced Bad Boys Four. Being from Miami, I feel like this is like your 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 movie series like this is you this yes is, this is like fuck scarface it's about bad boys <laughs> yes so my first reaction when i saw it i was like why 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 mm-hmm. the first mo- bad boys is one of my top five favorite movies ever the right? first one the first one okay mike lowry right? the si- Mike Lowry, yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> and then, by the way, then they're gonna just, be, so then they're just, just crazy. Hold on, this is what I say. There's gonna be some bad boy spoilers. So if you haven't watched it yet, go Come ahead. Come on, man. She came out in like '94, '90, '95, '95, yeah, '95. I'm looking at it right now, '95. Okay. So fine. The first one came out, amazing movie, loved it. Then it got, a, then it went a little too far, right? When they rescue. Uh, Cuba? What's her name? Gabrielle Union in Cuba. Come on, man. This is the Miami Dade Police Department. Yeah, but now they, they made it clear that no, they're like, man. we're not we're not associated. Like we're not going to support you, but we are going to support you. I thought it was dope. It was it, it was a bit much. It was a bit much. I liked it. I thought it was. These dope. motherfuckers are traveling international <laughs> waters, infiltrating a fucking government. Like they're doing all kinds of shit. And I was like, come on, man, stop. I, I, it was I, entertaining. I was, I was digging it. I, I thought it was a great. It was, there's very right. few sequels that can take that long of a gap and come out and be entertaining. That one was one. I'll of give them. you that. That one I'll was like that. solid. Like that was you. You came out what, it was like ninety six to two thousand two, two thousand three. So six year no, gap. Wait, no, it was more than that. No, two thousand three. I think it was. Two, bad boys. Bad boys two. Bad boys two. Two thousand three. I'm willing. Two thousand. Oh yeah, two thousand three. Really? There you go. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So ninety five to two thousand three, right? So it was about an eight year gap. Yep. That for a movie for a movie to come out that long, like I think Terminator was probably the closest Terminator Aliens and a few others I can't think of. But like that was a dope sequel. Plus, if you think about it, that movie could have been its own movie. Bad Boys 2. Like it could have been its right, own without movie the- without any ties to the original movie. Yep, I'll give you that. I'll so, give you that. It was it was a dope. I, d- I dug it. And then the third one. The one with the, the one with the dead life. bodies, yeah. The one with the dead bodies is that that was the no, one, that's right? The second one, where they came out of the no. The, they were they were putting the drugs in the dead bodies. The second one, that was the second one. Okay. Yeah. Then the third one, that boy's for life. Yeah, I didn't I didn't enjoy that. One. Let's just let's just call it what it is. I didn't I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> I didn't I don't know where they went with the whole like Will Smith's son and everything else. Like they just went too far with that shit. I think they did too much with that. I'm telling you, they had a storyline. So why, like I said before, months ago or years ago, when we, why are you reheating cold fries? <laughs> because it, it's it's a money maker, bro. People, Stop people, it. people are slaves to the series. I'm a slave. I get listen, it. I was like that with the Resident Evil series. Let me ask: Are you watching? Are you watching this at the movie theater? The last one I did, yeah. The first no, two, saying, the first two I did. The, the last one I did. Oh, you talking no, about Bad Boys? The, this new one coming up, Bad Boys 4. Uh, nah. four. I didn't watch the last one. Of course one not. Theaters. No, I'm not watching this in theater. No. What's the story like going to be? Well, it's going to be his son. That's going to that's gonna continue. That's that's definitely going to continue. Because that was that was uh, hinted at the last in the last one. 
like wait who's his son i don't i don't even remember that who's his son the one uh i think it was a mexican kid oh because she had because because she had a he had a with with um yeah. kate del castillo yeah okay i remember now she's the one that created mike lowry now. and he's uh and she's like a drug lord or some shit yeah. she's like runs the cartels mike oh, lowry no. no i'm not no <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm interested, but I'm not. They killed not off. Rushing. They killed off the captain, bro. Like, I'm, not, I'm upset about that. Like, Yo, the captain was my, my guy. Man, they, what was it? What was it? He used to say, Joe Wusa. Wusa. <laughs> Wusa. He created a term that we still use this day. Yeah. He killed them off. Come on, man. No. I mean, he probably, he probably wanted that. Like, he's like, I'm done with this. Kill me. Get me off the series, and I'll, I'll finish up just to kind of just do my thing. But I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Oh, Kill me. Close the loop on it. Put yeah. a nice little bow on it. Yeah, like okay. Yeah, that, that could be I'm a reason why. But yeah, Yo, uh, but Bad Boys Four. It, it, Go ahead. Is this is this Will Smith throwing uh, Martin a bone? Uh, I don't think so because Martin, I think he's, I think he's got some other projects that I can't think of off the top of my head. I think he has a few other projects that he's making some bank on. So, I think I it's, think this I think it's fanfare. I think it's fanfare for both of them to say, "Hey, let's do another movie." And I think that's what it is. It's it's a lot of fanfare, which is, if you look at the state of the of the movie scene, I don't know how big you are into movies, but in general, a lot of the movies are all being done now just to please the fans. Like it's not even like it's like fuck the critics, fuck the reviews. We're doing this for the fans. We're giving the fans what they want. They said they wanted as this they, as they should, and they're that's the and paying. I think that's what it is. I think that's what they're what they're. Uh, I think that's what this is. It's a fanfare. It's like, hey, what are you doing, Will? I got nothing. Martin, what are you doing? I got nothing. Let's make another movie. All right, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> and I think that's what <laughs> that it is. is. I think that's the, that was the whole conver- I think that was the whole conversation. They sat around, had a few shots, had some whiskey, had some fucking beer. I don't think drink. Yep. Hey, wouldn't it be it's interesting? Probably what it was. When should we start Bad Boys Four? Start next week. All right, I'm down. Next week we start. <laughs> that's it. Or. Or Will's like, yo, I need to bounce back from this slap shit. I need to, I need something. Give me something. He's been, he's been actually, uh, so yeah, he 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 did he did that one movie with the with the with the slave. Yeah, he played the slave. Emancipation. I don't remember. I haven't seen it. I didn't. I didn't. I haven't seen it. He, I've, he actually, I've only read about he it. He did a lot of. He did a really good uh, damage control through social media regarding that. Um, and you know how, and people and and like we always say people are, are short-sighted yeah they talked about it for a good two three weeks but you know then another uh scandal popped up and everybody forgot about that yeah but the internet's gonna hang them for life for that the internet's gonna oh yeah something yeah. Can, every time because now that's that's what's associated with his name yeah so that this movie better be <laughs> this movie better be a hit because if it's whack oh a hit is that a pun <laughs> oh my god oh <laughs> <laughs> it better be a smack hit. <laughs> this movie better slap. slap. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, let's move on. I think that's, uh, when we start, when we start here. finishing each other's sentences. We got to finish the cop podcast. Yeah, that's, that's any that's final words, gonna leave. Man, go to salute to bruise dot com. Get your glassware right there. Max fifteen. We're, swi- we're swiping. We're, we're going to we're going to bourbon now. So. Every, I mean, when you when and it's a long week, and you just come home, you pour some bourbon in one of these. You set, man. You start the weekend off right. So go to Max. It, it just hits different. <laughs> so to bruise.com, use Max fifteen, get your fifteen percent discount. And thank you for for listening. Buenos dias. Yes. Listen, um, I'm looking forward to next week. A lot of food, a lot of drinks. I already I already took some days off. Because I'm planning to enjoy it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting. So, for those of you who are visiting Arizona for Arizona Beer Week, hit me up. Uh, gonna hang out, gonna bullshit. I'll be all over the fucking place. I'm gonna be North Phoenix, South Phoenix, Tempe, Chandler, Scottsdale. Surprise! Then we go to surprise. Yeah, I'm not gonna make surprise. I mean, I probably should. <laughs> I probably should. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. I should probably go because of real pizza. Shout out to real pizza. That's why we said surprise. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know of real pizza and surprise, go out your way. Go try some real pizza. If you don't like it, talk to me. Like let's 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 tell me why you don't like it. And if you convince me, I'll pay for your shit. 
Nah, there's some there's some good people over there. There's a dope. Shout out to Ka- Caleb, you know, and, this, and the whole team. So shout out to those guys. Damn, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> McGriddles, pizza, everything oh else. Oh my god. Uh, so we'll wrap it up. Listen, follow Salute to Bruce, follow Star Bruce, follow Star Guida, follow a Joe Wonder LMP, follow Max Alamit, and last but not least, follow Max Alamit Podcast. There is no new episode next week. We're gonna be non-stop recording next week, so yeah. Uh, we'll see you the week after that, but look out for all the content that we're going to provide for beer week and some other fun shit. So make sure yeah, you go man. to salute so, to brews, salute to brews.com. Just keep go yeah. there. Go there. When you look at when you're bored, just go there. Look at the, look at the merch. Cause he's always updating. Matter, shit. matter of fact, go there right now. If you're driving, I know you're looking at your phone. So put the <laughs> go, get off Instagram, get off whatever your website you're on go to salute to bruise.com hey siri get the one that says store hey siri <laughs> add this to my cart you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that, yes do that <laughs> see i said hey siri and then my computer started talking to me what the hell she's listening it's listening she's listening so i'm not so i'm not gonna say that anymore anyways go to salute to bruise.com <laughs> get your glassware Yo, get your bottle openers, get your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let and me I appreciate know if you, you guys for listening. Arizona. Let me know if you come to AZ. Uh, hit me up. Let me know if you're in town. I'm free. Not free, but I'm going to be available the entire time. I'm not. Okay. Let me reword myself. Let me know when you're available. I can make things happen. I'll let you know where we're going to be at. Um, no finalized agenda just yet, but hit me up. Hit us up. Let us know. Tag us. All the good shit. If you're out there, man, take a, take a drink for me. Take a drink for me, you know. You see, our, you see our, our stickers. Take a picture. And tag us. Yes. Peace, love, chicken grease. You already know. Later. <laughs> <laughs>